for the good. What's up, cousin? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Virgo between the 1st and the 15th of December? Hmm? Y'all making money moves? Hmm? Hmm? Y'all in the cycles? New beginnings, shall we say? Hmm? <laughs> hey boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find one of these beautiful readers on YouTube that will resonate with you better without cussing. Because, yeah, I'm cuss. Also, um, to my new subscribers, old subscribers, familia, it's popping. Welcome to the family. We're the dysfunctional. We, we cuss. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do share. We love. We grow. We evolve. And positive vibes only over here. That's what we do. No judgment. That said, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for my cousins. For the sign of vertigo. Right? This is not a personal reading. It's a general reading. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below. Okay. Um, also, y'all, I'm proud of us. We made it through these new retrograde shifts. Look at y'all. Now y'all know y'all gotta sacrifice some stuff. So let's talk, right? So again, those who miss, this is for my vertigos. Let's get y'all. I love this. I love this Barbieri deck with this with the depiction of Virgo. It's just like she's so sensual. It's like I straightforward. I know what I want. I know whom I want. I know how to get it. And I got all of this energy and all of this love behind me to back me up. Ooh, now it's time to make that move, though. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my lovely Virgos? Your spirit message from the first to the fifth. Did y'all see that shit? Well, okay. We gonna go with it. We gonna hold with it. We going with it. Okay, Virgo. We going with it. All right. Some of you all during this time are going to be moving away. Some of you all, you really need to have faith about possibly making a move. But some of you all, it's really moving away from heaviness. Moving away from other people's damn drama. Moving away from what you once knew to be. Your everyday life of worry and heaviness. You're moving away passionately. Taking everything and all of the lessons that you've learned. Moving forward towards your blessings unapologetically. Do you see that? I have all of my life before me. I took some L's. But I turned my L's into lessons. So you need to have faith about making a move during this time. For some of you all, you just want harmony within the self. And spirit's going to bestow that upon to you. That harmony. A lot of you all are just seeking the harmony within self. You just really want to just quiet down the outside world I'm hearing during this time. You know, just really just, y'all shut the hell up. You know, you're finding that inner chi, your inner chi. But some of you all, it's a soulmate relationship. Bring the harmony towards it. For, or for some of you all, leaving it behind. Taking the lessons from it or the karmic. For some of you all, there were life lessons. For some of you all, you're leaving someone that was a catalyst to your growth. And you needed to have faith because some of you all have this, oh my goodness, I need this person type, you know, deal going on. And for some of you all, it's just really like I'm moving forward, but I'm afraid because I don't really know where I'm moving towards. You know, I haven't really thought about what it is that I'm passionate about. I put my everything, my all into a circumstance, someone, something to the point so long to the point that it's become a fear. Of you moving forward. And spirit is needing you to have that faith. Because a lot of y'all have. With jumping these damn retrograde shifts. A lot of y'all have went through some shit. And you've conquered some shit. And looking back you just really like. Damn that shit really had me sitting back looking. Like a, looking crazy. I let somebody sit up and make a damn fool out of me. When I when I'm got when I got all of this. I mean it's just really like. <laughs> you're really finding the value of yourself. And in things. And in people. The ones that really matter. The people who will never break, bend, or fold on you. You get what I'm saying? But I feel like, but some of you are, you're finding out during this time, maybe I put the wrong substance or the wrong energy into some of the wrong people. 
or the right energy into some of the wrong people. But you just take the lessons on it and just let it go, you know, and have faith that you will meet the person, okay? Or you will be able to conquer your ambitions and your passions if you just simply move forward and stop worrying about what the hell happened in the past so you can strictly and firmly see your present, okay? A lot of you all, some of y'all want a damn Leo. Some of y'all want a fire sign, every seal Sagittarius, and maybe this is this damn soulmate. But I feel like it's before you can move forward into that harmony. And for some of you all, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like some of you all have been telepathically or will be telepathically communicating with someone. For some of you, it's going to freak you out because it's a new person that you have never met before. But your intuition and divine timing is really at play here, okay? So some of you all are really needing to nurture yourself, love yourself. Some of you all, um, some of you all been, are going to be trying to have, or who've been trying to have children. Some of you all, that energy is definitely here for you. So if you are trying to conceive... Or if you are not trying to conceive, you might want to be careful and, you know, wrap up that package. You know, you I, look, wrap the damn package up. Let's not talk about it because I don't want this to turn into no uh, X, X. Well, I, I'm, tarot can't be no damn X, X, X. Come on now. I'm trying to be professional. Sheesh. That goes in 2019. Profession, professionalism is going to be my new damn gig, okay? You don't got to believe me. Don't believe me. Just watch, damn it. You ain't got to believe me. That's all right. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all better than I can tell y'all. How about that? <laughs> all right, now. Spirit, what? My Virgos and expect in love between the 1st and the 15th of December. Oh, shit. Some of y'all going to be cutting off a Gemini leaf for Aquarius. Everything that once was not said. No, will be said. I'm unhappy. I got to go. I ain't got time to talk. My bag's packed. I got you. You see my shit? I got to go now. You should have been talking eight damn years ago. You should have had a lot to say during that time. Some of you all are going to be cutting off possibly an earth sign, possibly someone who you actually have some type of um financial tie to. This could also be some type of family structure or family dynamic. Some of you all have been very indecisive about moving forward away from someone, okay? I feel that you've been more so in your head. I feel like mentally you've already left, but physically your body has yet to damn follow. But during this time, some of you all are deciding you don't want to move forward possibly in a marriage. You're just choosing to really want to be by yourself. For some of you all, some of y'all could be indecisive regarding a um an air sign and a fire sign. Or this could be external to your energy if you're dealing with either yeah some of y'all are very internally conflicted about choosing two lovers two lovers two jobs two situations i feel that one it's, it's two situations that you're very passionate about but some of y'all it's a marriage some of y'all got a main piece and a side piece to choose from well all right virgo some of you all you're embracing love some of y'all having a hard time choosing between a water sign cancer pisces scorpio and a fire sign, I feel. I feel that you're internally conflicted because you have more time. Here in time, there's time invested in another, but some of you all have met someone new. And this person really have you in your head about what it is that you've been accepting in your life thus far. Some of y'all are afraid of this love from this new damn water sign, okay? Some of y'all cutting off a damn air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like it has to do with communication. This person makes you feel small. Or this could be you, Virgo. This person could be cutting you off during this time because it's something about feeling small. This person speaks to you like they have to belittle you in order to get their point across or for them to feel high and mighty. I ain't gonna, I can't stand them egotistical ass people like that because I ain't gonna, <laughs> y'all know I'm Aries. <laughs> I don't play that shit. I might, boop, that's part of my shadow. This is a journey, okay? This is a journey. And we all own it. For some of you all, you're refusing to end cycles with, Letting go of some type of like rejection or abandonment as well. Some of you all just really want to live in the past. And I feel like you're you're not able to communicate and really get to a solution with an issue, especially with having to do with the water sign for some of you all. Or you can't move forward towards this water sign because you're really not communicating the underlying issues that you're really needing to heal from. Virgo, baby, you got to let it go. Take a deep breath, find your chi and hug a damn tree. You, you can laugh all you damn want to. Mocha hugs trees. 
say what you want to. Hmm. But some of you all are in love with a cancer. Some of you all are waiting for a cancer to come back. But I feel like when this person comes back, some of y'all been practicing in the mirror or this cancer thing. <laughs> I feel like somebody have the energy of, you know, when she come back, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go off like I did last time. I'm back. What do I say? Because she look feisty. Like, if somebody is practicing in the mirror, it's, it's, it's weird as shit that I'm actually able to see this. But it's, it, I think it's cute. I feel like there is definitely love between you and another person. Some of you all are not closing out a cycle with an Aries person. I feel that you want to take that leap of faith. You really want to fix the relationship during this time. But you and this other person is stubborn as hell. And it's something about communication issues. It's just y'all not really seeing eye to eye. Some of you all, some of y'all could be leaving the damn Capricorn in the cold. I feel like, or some of y'all could feel left out in the cold having to do with the Capricorn and finances. Or some of you all are having like issues with feeling attached to someone due to finances. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough Virgo. You are what you, you, you are where it, you are whatever it is that you put your thoughts into. You get what I'm saying? So if you think lack, you feel lack, you feed the energy of lack, then so be it. You're going to have lack. But if you attract that energy, I am wealth. I am prosperity. I am abundance. I speak it into your world as if it's there already and just know that it's coming. It's the belief, baby. The head, the belief, thought, word, action. You get what I'm saying? So for some of you all, you're really, really wanting to manifest finances but you're afraid to separate yourself from somebody. Some of y'all got to let this damn devil go. Okay? I feel that you feel that this, this damn, and it, even if it's not a Capricorn, I feel it's the energy of feeling stuck. It's the energy of literally telling yourself, I ain't going nowhere. I can't afford to. I can't do this. I can't, I can't, should not exist in your vocabulary. Hope, all of that, you can't, and I, I don't know if, if what, when, Okay, stop ifing and start winning. Do you understand? Some of you all, you could be attached to someone else in your external who has this energy of lack. But that's really needing to be addressed because I feel like some of you all are feeling like you can't move forward. And maybe you're attached to someone who feels like they can't move forward. But it's definitely having to do with a damn lack mindset that needs to be acknowledged during this time. Some of you all have been intuitively wanting to move forward towards a creative endeavor or possibly towards a, like expanding your business to grow more money. I feel something about marketing and advertisement. Some of you all really need to do some type of investment. I mean, some type of investigations as far as um, loans and grants, as far as opening your businesses. Some of you guys intuitively know that you have something huge coming. Like you just have this knowing that, Mocha, I don't know what the hell it is, but I just feel something big is coming. You're absolutely right. And for some of you, I'm here and believe in miracles because Lady Luck is on your side. Lack not, baby. You have it all. Some of you all are removing yourself from a third party situation. And it could involve um, a damn Leo, okay? But some of you all, some of y'all are internally conflicted about dealing with the Libra. And some of y'all are in y'all damn head and scared as hell thinking that. Some of you all could actually have some issues with the justice system, and I feel like some of y'all are in your head like, oh my goodness, Mocha, what is going to happen? The justice being here upright, I definitely feel the justice will be in your favor. I just feel that you really need to stop. Some of y'all are really worried about court issues to the point where you're obsessing over it. For some of you all, it could also be divorce court or some type of like custody battles I'm seeing. Hold on one second, because she flew all over the place at the beginning. I got to clarify. I know y'all like, what? Mocha gonna clarify? Yes, this girl is working. So y'all professionalism working on it. Step by step, day by day, okay? For some of you all, you have a Libra in your energy that's very indecisive. I feel like this person focuses on stability, but at the same time, they put their energy into worry and obsession. Some of y'all have somebody who has the energy of like, I feel like they leave you out in the cold, but then they stalk from a distance. It's weird as shit. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This can also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Clarify this strength card. Some of y'all are dealing with a third party situation that involves a Leo. And I feel that some of you guys really want to make this work. Some of y'all believe in this person promises. 
And for some of you all, you really need to take yourself out of this damn third party energy and, and, and not allow yourself to accept that into your damn life. Because I feel that it's really blocking this damn Ace of Cups here, okay? I have the Ace of Cups, okay, clarifying this damn strength with this damn Three of Swords. So I feel like for some of you all, it's really the strength and courage to allow yourself to really tame yourself, self-control, okay? What you allow, people going to only do what you allow them to do. So if you allow some third-party shit, you have to be accepted to the fact that they're going to bring that shit to you. Because honestly, you have to think about it like this. Law of Attraction. How you get them is most of the time how you lose them. So if you thinking you got the victory from getting somebody or winning winning someone from a third party relationship, no, you just open the door for that person to feel like it's okay to do that shit to your ass. Cause I mean, <laughs> that's how I met you, baby. Think about it. Here, clarify this justice card for my Virgos. Yeah, some of you all, <laughs> some of you all could possibly be moving away or ending the marriage due to some type of third party situation. Truth and clarity on it, possibly regarding um an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this damn Leo was sticking out to me. Some of y'all have a new beginning with a Leo, I feel, but you have to walk away from someone in order for it to flourish the way that you want it to go. But this damn Leo ain't having it. Clarify the cherry card. Huh. Some of y'all had a damn ten of cups with this damn new cancer y'all just met. If only you just take the damn leap of faith. Some of y'all have an Aries that you could possibly have a family with. I feel that there will be a renewal of love during this time with this person if you just get out of your head because you are this person because someone is in their head and I feel like the love feels like stagnant. The connection is not lost, but somebody definitely in their damn head about finances. So I feel that some of you all really need to sit down and really discuss a plan with your partner to try to, you know, smooth things over to allow them to express themselves so they don't hold that heaviness, okay? Yeah. Some of y'all are cutting off of some of y'all making a damn decision. Either this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you, Virgo, is making a damn decision to cut their ass off. But some of y'all, y'all may be cutting off a fire sign. Why is this eight of swords here? Why is the eight of swords here? Yeah. Some of y'all are in y'all damn head about making a damn judgment call during this time. But some of y'all is to resurrect a family situation. I feel like you really want to move forward or some type of like renewal of like maybe someone, maybe you got a divorce with somebody because I'm, I'm feeling someone got a divorce with someone here and maybe you've been separated from this person for quite some time. Some of y'all, y'all kids are a bit older. I mean, but you're deciding that you really want to come back together with another person that you have a family with. Great shit, Virgo. Let it go. Let it go. But some of you all, you're really not speaking the truth that you possibly want to reconcile Yep, your family with the fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like you feel either left out of the situation or maybe you just can't really get over the hurt this person caused you from the past. And this is why you kind of in your head about, should I move forward or should I just cut the shit off? Should I just stop thinking about it all together? Because ultimately, I do want this Ten of Pentacles. I want my family situation to work out. But at the same time, this person has to be willing to put in the effort to transform the relationship. But for some of you all, it's about walking away from that family situation that is a part of your transformation. And for some of you all, it has to do with this third-party energy. For some of y'all, this third-party energy could have been going on for the last three months, three years, and you just really blowing the whistle on that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, look, don't stop. Don't don't pass go. Just get the fuck away from me with this damn devil-ass energy. I'm done fighting myself, feeling like I'm not enough. You know, what, what don't I have? Or what is it? Internal conflict, being in my damn head, I, obsessively feeling stuck to your ass, and you just can't do right. So I'm going to remove myself from the situation. Why is this world part in reverse for my Virgos? Yeah. But some of you, you just refusing to end the cycle with the Leo. Okay? I feel that for some of you all, you're having strength through the cycle. You really don't want to end the cycle. For some of you, you don't want to walk away, especially when it has to do with the Leo or this damn Aries. But I feel like somebody's, you're not in the cycle yet. Somebody's not willing to take that leap of faith. And intuitively, you already know, but some of y'all feel like y'all can change somebody. And you're definitely going to get an eye opener during the first and 15th of December. Some of y'all are going to have to take that leap of faith and victoriously move towards ending this cycle. Okay? With someone who's possibly defensive towards you. Or that you feel that you have to have the, 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 so have the defenses up towards. It's time to move forward. Away from this devil-ass energy and end that cycle. 
cycles are ending. Some of y'all could be dealing with Taurus. Some of y'all could be dealing with Scorpio. Some of y'all could be dealing with Aquarius. But you're definitely walking away from toxic bonds during this time. I just five of pentacles here. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all are afraid to walk away from possibly a younger earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or maybe this person is in your energy with this damn lack mindset. Or maybe you feel that you can't make any moves, any moves forward without this person because maybe you depend on them financially. But I feel trust your intuition because for some of you all, you're really not wanting to see what's right in front of you in order to make a damn decision. And to be honest, it's for some of you all, you're going to see that this is a blockage towards your finances. And for some of you, you already intuitively know this, but you still want to hold on to the situation, okay? Even though you or someone else, I feel this juggling, okay? You're still wanting to hold on to the situation, and you really needed to be honest with yourself. And understand that you have every resource that you damn need in order to start start over. It starts with you. You know how to communicate. You know how to go get that shmoney. You know what it is that you're passionate about. You know what it is that fulfills you. So you need to be real with yourself. And some of y'all are going to relieve, we're going to be receiving truth and clarity that relieves your heavy heart to let situations go during this time that you honestly know is not fulfilling and not going to add to your life, but really stress you the fuck out, okay? For some of y'all, yeah, change. Some of y'all cutting somebody out. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius can get cut off, I'm seeing. For some of you all, this is the last battle, baby, towards your two of cups. This is the last fight. For some of you all, you have a soulmate that's an Aries. For some of you all. You've been dealing with Aries already. You're trying to get rid of their ass. What you waiting on? Especially if it's some three-party shit. Some of y'all are internally conflicted about the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and making that move. Some of y'all really been in your head about it. Feeling insecure for what? Oh, for some of you all, it could definitely be someone that you're married, with, married to. It could definitely be someone that you share children with. For some of you all, it could definitely be about a Taurus, okay? And I feel that for some of you all, secrets could be coming out about this person. Some of you all could be getting truth and clarity, okay? But some of you all, you're going to find out that they're putting in work elsewhere with someone else, okay? And it's going to allow you that clarity, that peace that you need to move forward. This is the damn straw that broke the camel's back. You know what? I've been wanting peace. I've been wanting happiness. I'm going to go get my shit. That belongs to me. For some of you all, you have this damn Ace of Cups with another Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all who are meeting an older Taurus during this time, and this is a new person. For some of you all, this person definitely will be financial sta financially stable. And for some of you all, this is your good karma. For some of you all, this person wants marriage. And for some of you all, some of y'all finna get engaged during this time. Some of y'all been thinking that somebody been hiding money, but they really been working on actually trying to propose to you. And for some of y'all, some of y'all gonna get a Christmas proposal. I'm sorry, I just gave the secret up, but damn it, y'all be y'all be wanting to know the juice and the tea. Don't be damn uh, don't be picky about what juice and tea you get. Sorry, Mocha just spilled the beans. <laughs> but I love y'all, y'all. It's about progression, okay? Not perfection. Progress, not perfection. Just know that everything you want, you can have it. It's all in how you look at situations. It's all in how you see some of the things that you've been through. And it's all in you really being real with your damn self. What is it that Virgo wants? Virgo puts everybody fucking first. What is it that Virgo wants? For some of you all... Some of you all, Virgo wants to take a leap of faith towards manifesting their dreams, their desires, and every damn thing that belongs to me. Happiness is fated and destined for me in this life because I've laid so many positive and abundant loving seeds. And it's time to watch them grow, baby. For some of you, it's time for you to take that leap of faith with that damn Aquarius or that damn Aries. Or this damn, uh, for some of y'all, this Leo or this damn Libra. Or this damn Capricorn towards Virgo. 
some of y'all, y'all gonna fix y'all family situations with the squad for y'all. But it's definitely love, acceptance, forgiveness, understanding, self-worth, life karmic, life lessons, karmic lessons, hella blessings. It's just all how you choose to look at it, my babies. I'm wishing y'all so much love, prosperity, abundance. You deserve every minute of it, y'all. Every piece of it. And I send it your way. This is what I have for you during this time. If you need a personal reading, please reach out to me, my babies. Love y'all.